now let's get even more customized I'm going to show you using the which statement within data frames so which ry dollar a is greater than 1 and I'm going to include all the columns what I have done here is I'm subsetting within ry the rows within first column that is the a column the elements that are greater than 1 so what this should give is it will not have ns in the first row sorry the first column as well as all the elements in the first column will be greater than 1 that's what it should do and that's exactly what it does if you are not comfortable using the dollar sign in that in this you can refer to the first column as ry open the square bracket include all the rows but include only the first column now only I have selected only the first column and I have put this condition upon it so this also also should give me the same result right so this set and this set is exactly the same You can also include more conditions within a single if which statement. You just have to add the ampersand symbol and write your further statements. Say I will add a statement like I don't want to have the sevens in my second column. So to remove the sevens, if I remove the sevens, I will have to in remove the ns too. So I will put a condition like the second column should be less than 7 right so if I do this all my 7s should go off got that so that should give you a feel for it now I must say about attached statement here though I don't personally recommend to use it recommend you to use it what attached statement does is it allows you to access the columns within a data frame directly say if I attach ry it says the following objects are masked by certain things and now a b c d and e are directly accessible what that means is if I type a and press an enter okay there goes the mistake this is exactly why I don't recommend you to attach use the attach command what typing a should have given me is that the elements of the column a should have been printed out but since i we already have a vector with the same name that is we made the data data frame from vectors if you remember right so it it coincided or clashed with the vector name and it gave this following warning let me quickly show you what i exactly mean let me quickly create another data frame now x has two columns x1 and x2 when i attach x i have the i should have the columns x1 and x2 accessible directly from my console so when i type x1 it should display all the elements of x1 but what happened in my previous cases instead of showing the all the elements of row a it showed me row the vector a instead so this is the problem that happens when you use the attach command so try not to use it we have covered some very important concepts in this section if you have any questions please let me know thanks for watching this video